Do you enjoy writing tests for your smart contracts? I really don't. It's boring and it's very easy to miss something. I just discovered a brand new tool that allows you to create safe smart contract without writing any test. It's called Diligence Fuzzing and it's built by a consensus. Let's see how this works. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on In The Blogs, I help you to become a Web3 expert. Let's first review the different approaches for testing smart contract systems. So there are three basic approaches that you should know about. Manual testing, semi-automated testing, and automated testing. Manual testing is when you write tests yourself using tools like Truffle, Hot Hot, or Foundry. It requires you to perform three tasks. Determine what functionality to test, determine what input to use to perform the test, and determine what is the expected output. This is a great starting point, but it's very easy to miss something. What if you forget about some functionality, some class of inputs, or some expectation on the output? Missing something can leave your system vulnerable to attackers. Semi-automated testing still requires developers to write tests themselves, but this time they will also use a tool called a fuzzer to generate some inputs. You don't have to think of all the different inputs that your smart contract will have. The fuzzer will do it for you. It makes things easier and safer, but it still requires a lot of manual effort to write the test and it's easy to forget about some important functionality. Switching from manual testing to semi-automated testing is a bit like switching from a car with manual transmission to a car with automatic transmission. It's a nice upgrade, but it doesn't make driving that much easier. For smart contract, there are a number of furthers that focus on semi-automated testing, for example, Ekishna and the further of Foundry. Diligence fuzzing also supports semi-automated testing, but it's really designed to take you one step further. Diligence testing is designed to do full automated testing. So with automated testing, you don't have to write tests at all. All you have to do is specify the expected behavior of the system. You specify how the functionality should work, for example, using a specification language like a Scribble. Sticking with the car analogy, automated testing is a bit like switching to an autonomous car. User can primarily focus on where they want to go instead of operating the brakes, steering the wheel, etc. And diligence fuzzing is the only tool that can do automated testing of your smart contract. Diligence fuzzing is a pet tool contrary to open source tools that are free, so why should you use it? With diligence fuzzing, you have a way better code coverage, which means you are much more likely to catch bugs. Not catching a bug can be very costly, so there is a lot of value there. You also save a lot of time and money in your Q&A process because you don't have to write unit tests yourself. Or if you already have some unit tests, you don't have to throw them away because diligence fuzzing can use them as well. So diligence fuzzing makes smart contract testing way easier and I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes a standard used by most smart contract developers in the future. So let's see what is the workflow when you use diligence fuzzing. The first step is to annotate your smart contract and for that you will use a language called Scribble. These Scribble annotations will define properties of your smart contracts like invariance. The next step is to transform the annotated smart contract into what we call an instrumented smart contract. This is basically a modified version of your smart contract that contains some extra Solidity code that tests each property that you specify in your annotation. Next, we will deploy the instrumented smart contract to a local Ethereum node using a deployment script. So we refer to this state as the seed state. Next, we will extract the seed state from the local Ethereum node and send it to the diligence fuzzing API. And on the diligence fuzzing API, the fuzzer will try to generate lots of transactions on your smart contracts with the goal of covering as much code as possible. And at the end, you will have a report in your dashboard that tells you if any of the properties that you define failed. So that's the high level overview of how fuzzing works with diligence fuzzing. And next we will see a specific example with an ERC20 token. So first you have to install Node.js and Python 3. Then you have to create a free account on diligence fuzzing. So you have to create an API key and you also have to activate your free trial. And after that you go in your terminal and you need to install this Python package. And you also need to install this NPM package that's for Scribble. 
and you are going to download this example from GitHub. So you go in the directory, then we run npm install to install our Node.js dependencies. And next we are going to open our code editor and go in the code of the ERC20 token that we are testing. And we are going to add a scribble annotation. So here we are basically saying that the sum of all the balances of the contract should always equal the total supply. So that's what we call an invariant. Then you need to paste your API key in this configuration file. We go back to the terminal. We run this command to start the fuzzing process. So it's going to use our scribble annotation to generate an instrumented smart contract. And then the fuzzing process will happen on the API of diligence fuzzing. At the end, we'll get a report and we can see a link to the report in our terminal. You can also find the report in your dashboard on the website of Diligence Fuzzing. So let's copy paste this URL and check out the report. So at the top, you have a couple of metrics about the progress of the fuzzing and at the bottom, you have the result. The most important is the property section. It shows you which properties are being fuzzed and more importantly, which properties are violated. And here we can see that the fuzzer found a bug. So if you click here, it will take you to the location in the code where the property failed. So here we are talking of the instrumented smart contract. It's not the original smart contract. It's the smart contract that was created by Scribble just for testing. So now you probably want to know why the further thinks that the property can be violated. And if you click on more than transaction details, you can see the transaction that triggered the error. Do you notice something odd? The sender and the receiver of the token is the same. So in other words, there is a vulnerability when someone sends tokens to themselves. So go ahead and check out in vulnerable ERC20.cell to see if you can figure out what's going on. So now you know how to quickly test your smart contracts by using diligence fuzzing. It will make you way more efficient compared to other developers that don't use these tools. So I would strongly recommend to invest some time to experiment with it. And the next step is to go create your free account on diligence fuzzing. Even though this is a pet tool, they also have a free trial that you can use to experiment. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.